What's good, YouTube? And welcome to the house. A ton of eyes are on the top end. $700, not clickbait. I pulled the best ghost rare out of Ghost from the Past. And understandable, it's in the name Ghost from the Past. But it's my job to look around and see what else is going on within the set. And unlike most sets, vendors are selling this almost exclusively sealed. You're not seeing caseload after caseload of this busted open as much as other sets, meaning those shorter print cards are even harder to get. And with opening week biops that have been rolling throughout sets in the past remember $30 access code talker I remember $30 access code talker or $6 black luster soldier links that's why you shop pre-sales you make those big brain calls you see what other people are missing and you go forth well if you ordered time thief stuff you might be a little happy or if you ordered starry night starry dragon see I don't think necessarily this buyout is going to stick even though he is the lead dragon of the new archetype member say are you I member say are you that hype actually is the first reason why you see huge buyouts on the dds version that was left behind versus a lot of the other dds cards so i really just don't think this hype and and of itself is necessarily very real this reimagining of him but i do think it is casual bait and i do think that people will enjoy themselves with this archetype you don't have to be competitive on the market and casual doesn't equal broke i just don't see this buyout sticking necessarily now time thief adjuster is a little more interesting because this is a fringe rogue deck where people remember using Redoer and Orcus or trying to make this deck work and waiting forever for the support. So seeing people go after the Time Thief stuff, it could be actual natural demand rather than this targeted buyout. And when vendors do see this new listing, they're going to remember it and go like, uh, I don't really want to take less on this card. I think I'll list just barely under. While undercutting will happen, I do think it's going to not go back towards its pre-sale price of like $3, maybe more so towards five but we'll continue to wait and watch because i don't think this necessarily has the biggest meta impact either but it is more interesting than the starry night buyout and a lot of the normal mid end reprints that we were hoping for waiting for they're sticking in price slash slowly going up here early and don't have the most quantity so you may want to get your cards sooner than later using that tcg player link in the description down below costing you nothing extra to support the channel directly for the cards you'd already be buying because you could see a lot of these start to go more so towards five dollars despite the competition on the set the average person opening the set is only going to use the top end cards to recoup costs and not do listing after listing letter mail after letter mail they're going to be after that ghost rare or bust remus however was down towards 20 for a little bit more so towards 23 24 you can see the market price sticking there were some motivated sellers those did disappear but people will be undercutting on this card because it actually gets them their worth of the pack back on a card i do wish this was a structured x so bad now speaking of an interesting kind of price hike that has been happening you do have tyrant red dragon archfiend seeing another little surge this weekend it's a very good card in its own right but maybe the release of red supernova dragon has something to do with those extra looks towards it i do think that also we have the missed opportunity on a reprint for world legacy guard dragon the ultra rare is pretty low on quantity overall although a dollar under its market price personally be after the secret upgrade which does have motivated sellers on market but this card and its revival abilities for dragon link for dragoonities for dragon maids even so many different decks i definitely would want to have access to this card and i do hope we see reprints that we are so thirsty for later animation chronicle got announced in the ocg which is kind of the slot for battles of legend cards and we've seen konami usa continue marketing for sets like legendary duels that end in japan so what will happen it's in the slot for that set we could see it in the summer but maybe it lands in the fall or maybe battles of legend is over We'll have to wait and see. I think the announcement would happen in this two-week window for us to know what's going to be happening. And I'm waiting with bated breath. Red Eyes Dark Dragoon is up above $90. Now, this one has me a little worried. When will we see a reprint for him? Well... Toon Chaos actually gave reprints to 10 promos from past Mega Tens. So we could see King's Court in theory with the Yugi theme give us a collector rare of Red Eyes Dark Dragoon and then another ultra rare, which by the ratios of past sets would be around 
three per case which wouldn't be the greatest reprint range form but would still really help the price to see i think king's court is going to be super under ordered but that's still just speculation we don't know when a red eyes dark dragoon reprint will be could they just plop him in the megatons again with the blue eyes dark magician theme yeah they could upgrade him to prismatic secret rare we are waiting to see what will happen but in the meantime people are buying this buying this buying this and it's also causing the sealed to go up in price it's just crazy how he continues to surge speaking of the meta game we do see ice dragons prison resurging above 60 it's been around here but just so few sellers and then also chaos ruler the chaotic magic dragon last i looked he was like towards 24 he's up towards 26 27 with even a market price of 28 rise of the prices keeps going try to hold out for those 2021 mega tens but if you want to play Yu-Gi-Oh! right now for stuff like the extravaganza and the upcoming online ycs you're stuck paying really high prices if you want access to the cards that you want to be playing now sometimes you just can't get a card even if you want to play it as i understand that odd eyes phantasma dragon isn't really one of the best cards even with an odd eyes but this card is completely off the market once again and targeted buyouts like these towards magazine promos are extremely easy to do i hope we see a reprint of this card so that we can play it in all regions hey you, you you know like those odd off reprint sets like gold series perfect placement maybe to do something with this artemis the magistus moon maiden has had a bit of a price spike for both her collector rare and it has been consistently going up for her ultra rare nearing 15 dollars with motivated seller around 14 and you see it go quickly towards 15 this card is played heavily in the invoked engine you no longer have to go all mirage into secure garden though you can just go in the artemis and you have macabre online i do really like how the collector rare looks every time somebody posts a picture of it it looks really amazing hopefully you don't get that white goopy weird stuff quality control has been really weird for sets lately but do buy it near mint and hope to have an honest seller if you're in the market for it i do think it's one of the best things to get out of genesis impact because this under ordered set doesn't have a lot going for it and one of the most generic cards in collector rare and also ultra locked into the set that the people don't want to open a lot of is something you might want to get sooner than later if you're interested in that invoked engine you think alistair's going to continue to ban the <laughs> dodge the ban list like dante does and permanence is a card i would suggest getting right now i would love to see a structure deck reprint of this one day as it's the modern equivalent to valor but the gold series version is the first non-short printed version of impermanence i can't stress that enough as gold rare prices keep going up and the sealed for gold goes up making the estimated value pulled kind of well that ends up going up and it has been going for a lot of cards this is actually up like three dollars versus its old price but i would consider just getting these sooner than later if you're in the market for them seeing what's happened with ash blossom having almost double the printings of imperm it's an amazing card to have access to flows back into a lot of meta games and it's a card i like having Smalefic Cyber End Dragon. This buyout has happened so many times during my lifetime as a vendor. It always was money on buy list, so I would always stay attuned to its price. Well, with all the new Cyber Dragon support coming out, this dumps you one of your cards into the graveyard. It can't be, it's uh, summoned to buy, well, it removes it from play. My bad. Removes from play a Cyber End Dragon from the extra deck. And with this card, it's an easy access huge body onto the field it's a dark though it's still very interesting to think about within the cyber archetype but i i don't see it being played it's more that it just has one version but what do you think about this is it in a deck am i missing something is it big brain yes you play this in cyber dragons here and you use this field spell the invoke side your players are you back what do you think is the reason for the malefic cyber end buyout here wandering king wildwind has had huge buyouts his only releases in duelist saga and a lot of synchro hype is happening with the wind synchro pack so you do see this getting bought out too but you need a fiend type tuner specifically for him and you can special summon this card and you can't special summon a monster from the extra deck the rest of the turn except synchros you get synchro locked real easy in these decks but i i think minus is typing it is very interesting to see this not get another printing and be so consistent over time time at such a high price now something else that only has one printing that had passed buyouts 
multiple and has fallen back down in price and is relatively budget is magical king moonstar cannot be used as a synchro material except for a dark synchro monster though if you control a tuner monster you can special summon this card if it's normal or special you target another monster you control or in your graveyard until the end of this turn this card's level becomes the same as that monster's also you can't special summon except synchro summons well a lot of cards synchro lock you this does level modulation and you already have the tuner on the field to continue extension with it it's always live if your synchro deck is managing to draw into things i do really like this card and i think it's a pretty nice penny stonk to be thinking about if you are in that synchro arena considering only one printing and seeing cards like this do their crazy thing in the collector market elemental mistress doriato has been bought out this is kind of a weird one but in the ocg they actually have a vanilla of her that's kind of hard to get i think it's around 20 ish dollars if i recall but the unlims are towards 60 and the first edition has moon rocketed like dogecoin almost 200 freaking dollars and then quickly is what a buyout now a namesake format diamond dude turbo has also had a buyout in the collector's market and the unlims are towards 50 but the first edition only has one copy at 250 dollars i think almost anything with the name hero and ultimate rare seems to be doing pretty well for itself on the market though i just like the throwback to diamond dude turbo format and finally the worst biode i could possibly think of that i have somehow blocked out of my mind it's been this way for about a week hundred dollar the dark magicians legendary duel season three is almost inevitably going to happen at some point there's no shot that konami doesn't go ahead and like use the marketing from legendary Duel season one and that being a fail set then legendary duel season two huge hit we know the home run is going to be legendary duel season three with the reprints from malicious bane a dusted gold dark magicians even here magicians soul there's just so much going for legendary duel season three there's almost no way it doesn't happen but the question is when and people are antsy and they want their cards now i saw somebody in my comment section actually going i need a malicious bane now i'm finally giving and can anybody trade me one like in the comments section dude that thirsty if you can't hold off you're paying a premium on, premium on cards that are likely going to get a hollow upgrade at some point but that's just my take on it let me know if you're one of those people finally giving in it's just been too long and you want to play with your cards now or are you in the wait zone like i would personally be waiting on a card like this thanks for watching today's market watch please subscribe if you haven't already as i slowly go crazy from watching the market do what it does like the video if you enjoyed the conversation and yeah it's it's kind of been a ride lately and i just want to do other kinds of videos but there's just so much market stuff happening